Otherwise, the heat is really our main concern, not the tropics. Two interesting facts with now tropi uh, uh, Category 5 barrel. It is the earliest Category 5 on record, and it's only the second Category 5 in the month of July. Previous, that was Hurricane Emily, but became a Category 5 on July 17th, so much later in the month. This barrel is just shattering records, and what I don't like is all of the records that it's shattering are from the previously active season. So it looks like we may be well on our way to seeing a very active season. Of course, that doesn't say anything about landfall. So barrel right now with 160 mile an hour winds. The forecast itself has not changed. It is expected to maintain that strength through the night and into tomorrow. Late tomorrow, probably within the next 24 hours, we should see gradual weakening. However, it will still likely be a major hurricane came as it approaches Jamaica, continuing to weaken toward the Caymans, further weakening toward Belize as well as the Yucatan, possibly getting into the Gulf, but at that point a weak tropical storm. What will be helping everyone out is the increase in the wind shear. That will start disrupting that center circulation, hopefully start introducing some dry air and really helping to rip the storm apart. But we're going from a Category 5, so it doesn't just immediately dissipate. It will take some time for this wind shear to start working on the inner core, but it will be gradual, but it looks like it will be persistent right through the point of the storm moving into again the Bay of Campeche southwestern Gulf. Not a concern for us. Maybe some of that rainfall late in the weekend makes it as far as South Texas. For us, though, we'll be hoping for some cooling showers as the heat really not going anywhere through the holiday weekend.